Greetings everyone, and great here for another HPARS 3 replay. Spawn on the top left side as the red Chinese. We have me, 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 mouth, 21. Spawn on the bottom right side as the blue British. We have Gentleman the Pike. And immediately this. There we go, much smoother. Now it's easier for me to control. Some notes as well in this map. There are a good number of goats in the field. Obtaining them early on could give them some goats. Red has obtained these goats, and now Blue's uh, Explorer and the Disciple are going to fight over the goats. No decks selected here. And for the Chinese, no decks selected either. On this map, let's take a look at the natives. There are no natives. The natives are those goats. So he's the goat gods. There are three trading posts in the middle of the map. Coin, two coin deposits near their base. All both silver. Doesn't appear to be any gold mines. Even in the center of the map, going slightly in favor towards the Chinese player. Vice. I'm kidding. What did that say? Oh, that's the name of the explorer. I was trying to look at the name, look at the treasure, see what was there. I date my double cousin. What on earth does that mean as an explorer name? Luna's kill off the kitty cat there. Needs to obtain a treasure of Quicksilver. So Mercury or Galli Gallium. Got a stupid monkey on the field. And Red does find another uh, goat. I think as well... If the Chinese Chinese players, like the natives, like the native uh, civilizations, are able to make usage of the livestock a little bit better since they do have access to other livestock pens. In this case, the Chinese have access to villagers, so finding these goats to fatten these free goats can be very good. Wait. Did that goat just die? It was neutral and then suddenly just died. I wonder if Blue obtained it and immediately just sacked it. Looks like both sides of the monkey. We got Blue's monkey trying to interrupt the movements of the uh, Red's Explorer. Let's see, these guys are classified as hand infantry and a pet. They're not classified as a native or a guardian to be one shotted. Just one shot the kitty cat there. Red's monkey is trying to block the way so Red Explorer can pick up the treasure, but it looks like Blue will collect it up and get some 40 wood. Blue's Explorer needs to fall back to his town center. And we do have a deck now available for the Chinese. It is Lan. We got the Tea Export, Northern Refugees, Wood Coin, Chuko News, Playing Pikemen, Step Riders, uh, Diplomatic Intrigue, Coin. Arquebus, Sheng Do Swordsman, Territorial Combat, Repelling Volley, Double Face Army, Meteor Hammers, and Mortars, Intervention, Iron Manchurian Cavalry Archers, Arquebus, Sheng Do Swordsman, Meteor Hammers, Manchu Combat, Flying Crows, Western Reforms, and Rattan Shields. And for the Brits, we got Tower of Fealty. We got Villagers, Virginia Company, Town Militia, Pioneers, Greenwich Time, Coin, Longbowman, Infinite Outpost, Advanced Arsenal, Glorious Revolution, Hanover Allies, More Villagers, Coin, Yeoman, Siege Artillery, Cavalry Combat, Falconets, Fort, Longbowman, Longbowman, Gentlemen of the Pike, Rockets, Infinite Rockets, and Factory Factory to build more rockets. Oh, looks like this player is doing the same thing like I usually been seeing in large numbers of replays. He has 19 villagers on wood, and he's age 1. His opponent is going for the Porcelain Tower, which does give him a resource trickle. In this situation, if he would have gone for the free banner armies, it probably would have been a little bit better. Now he's trying to boom up himself. Now we do have Diplomatic Intrigue now being researched, which may give him a shipment of something he may be eyeing. He has like the French, designed for us on the, was it French give resource shipments, right? 
That may have been a typo. I'm not so sure. There's explorers down here. Walls going on up. We got a manor in front of it as well. We do got a war academy here. And now it's going to end relationships with the uh, French. Who wants to be with uh, allies of French? It's going to be four uh, diplomatic uh, intrigue. We did technically pay full value for the first uh, ally. Monkey down and monkey down. Oh, gets a free disciple from that. Honestly, built that in combat. Disciple 20%. Now I got some Chukunos on Quang Pikemen. Quang Pikemen are, of course, like any other Pikemen, have good siege attack of 30. Chuko News, like any other archaic archer, has incredibly bad siege attack. And it says three. It doesn't say three times three. It just says three. We got a second layer of walls going on up. The Brit. Let's see, we've got some step riders now being pulled in view. We got the governor now being deployed now. He may want to go for some long moments or more outposts. The governor will give him a free outpost. Maybe three outposts would be pretty decent defending himself, but the point Queen Pikeman does pose a pretty big threat. Sap Riders, they have good bonus damage versus infantry, but he doesn't have infantry. They're basically half of Hazar. So he's just getting hit by the Chuko News. Trying to build the rest of this wall. Towns are firing away. He does have the town watch and a bunch of other stuff here. As should be available, we need to go for either one of the towers. This set of walls about to go on down. Nazarene Mini's town militia. As a shipment available, going for the town militia now. Going for his church improvements. There is the militia. Takes out some of the ride, uh, riders. Monkey also engaging. Monkey down. Outpost has been pulling for you. If it gets some damage on in, if it targets on the cavalry, it does do pull in cavalry. Some of these villagers are getting hit by the Chuko News. One does still go down. He does have 41 villagers. One has 23. He has quite a bit of uh, in export there. But doesn't like how much damage he's taking from the town center. Towns are right now doing 121 damage, which will one shot the Chuko News and the Queen Pikemen. So that's why he took out some of the villagers. He didn't need any more, because it either way, the damage would one shot these units. Pikemen are not pushing way forward. The town center is being repaired up. The moat has been repaired up by, by quite a bit. Now got ropes around with long bowmen in the back line. With the town with the tower firing away as well. Gains some damage there. And now it has to force them fall back to get too much damage. Now got a Shimachuko news now being employed on out. And H3, the bishop. The bishop will give him a free town center. Breaks down to that wall there. We got a monkey still here for red. Some monkey business.
And now the bird's going for the glorious revolution. I thought he already got that. Guess not. He does not have church on the field at the moment, so he may want to get that out if he's going for that research. Longbone do take some fire there. And there's the secondary town center. It can ploy on the field. He's going to ploy it a bit more up here. He's also seizing a bit of coin there. That's coin deposit is almost cleaned on up. Now then he has to clean up this one here. He has one. With this age, he may be pulling out some falconets. Could be very useful. Falconets will do some great damage for these units. And right now he's just going for various research, including more old hand army. Armies. They're just starting to fall back there. These villagers delete some walls there. He needs to get them replaced. And kills off another caribou. So there goes Rudolph. Villagers heading for the bit of wood there. He could try going down south for some wood. He wants to keep these guys in the walls. He's running low, low on food on his borders, so that's going to be causing some issues with him soon. Both have H, uh, H4, the Tycoon, now being pulled on the field. Townsiders now seems to fire. Nothing inside this one here, so it's not defending itself, but will distract his opponent for a bit of time. Falcon has pulled on out. So the Chinese player will be very, very outaged. Has one ship available. The Prince have no ship available. The rockets seem pretty good, or the longbowmen. The rockets? Oh, eh, he has two falconets. The rockets may just be a bit overkill. The 20 longbowmen be maybe a little bit better. Or can go greedy for our factory to get out some more heavy cannon. Good value there. Two canoes pushing my forward. They do take out that villager there. Two canoes to get some damage there, but doing pathetically bad damage to him. They have 75% range resist, so each one of those arrows will do one damage each, probably. I feel a me stronger now. Or does take some hits there. Longbone and Falcon has way forward. Chinese nice player does have a bit of resource stock following up. Maybe he's eyeing for his own H3. Getting out some mortars probably wouldn't be half bad. H3 mortars. The Brits does not have enough for a shipment available. Not enough experience. Falcon has way forward. Queen Pikeman can't overrun the Falconets. They are very exposed. That's just a good number of Falcon uh, Pikemen here. Also going to try to pick off some of these units. Gets good damage there. Falconets have gone down. He needs to go for the 20 long bowmen. Uh, he's going for the three rockets. Better keep him within his borders. I am sorry, grief. I may not steer her. It's a large number of pikemen. He may not be able to hold back all these pikemen. He now is going for H3, which will have him produce flying crows. Alright, there was an opening there, so now he's going to push his way forward. Town center is not currently firing. Out of wood in that uh, tree. There's the rockets. Explorer has been brought back up. Good damage there. I guess the floor is still actually down. And these forces do get forced on back. Roger Rangers have improvement has been completed, so he has gotten that. Yes. Which does right now give him five Rogers Rangers. He has quite a bit of coin there, so he's probably going to go for whatever it's called get like additional like 40 rogers rangers from the church 
and the disciple will be killed off there by a villager. Eichmann away down here. And that was a massive AoE damage there. Oh, rockets are good. I'm biased towards heavy cannon, but I can say rockets are acceptable. Get some damage there. Pikemen falling back. Rangers are, of course, a upgraded longbowman. Pretty much a cheap skirmisher. They're close, more close, I guess, to state militia. 60-60. I guess an army of 36 push me forward. With two rockets. That can cause quite a bit of damage there. He's ran out pikemen. Now ending relationships with uh the Germans. And now he's going for the Summer Palace. Trying to go up to his final age as well. Ah, oh, there it is. Right in front of me. Ah, that's what I'm hearing. These units are now trying to torch down the wall. Archivists, of course, a skirmisher variant. There's another Black Watch now pulling for you, which are a musketeer variant. Mercenary musketeers. Trying to bring in some more territorial armies, which may not be that great. He's fighting against skirmishers. Cavalry will be the best thing to go for. Russian allies now being pulled out. I bring a shipment of flying crows. Flying crows will be good, but they don't have the same range as rockets, so they will be counter barraged. Over. Now we've got a number of archivists and swordsmen there. There's two flying crows. They are now deployed in the field. Their range is 28, I think. Yeah, same range as uh, rockets, right? Or are they 32? 28. So if they are kind of rockets, they get damage on each other. You have 28, 128 damage, which is less than a rocket. But I think they have a bit more AoE, and there's also multiplier. Arch range is pushed way forward. These forces are not going all that great. He needs to stop building the territorial army. The swordsmen will get annihilated by these forces. He needs to go for straight for cavalry. That does go down there. Some damage there. More flying crows. You can always use more flying crows. And actually, the red and shields not be, may not be half bad. They said that they're good against skirmishers, as well as uh, artillery. So maybe the rat and shields would be a good item in this situation. And it would cost quite a bit of coin. He does have enough coin. Flying Crows. Find a pretty good volley there. They do have good damage. No more players for skin tree. Rockets. Does get a good counter barrage down the rockets, but there goes the oh, there's still one flying crow remaining. They get shot at each other. And now all their artillery is down. Still got a good number of Rogers Rangers on the field. The swordsman getting annihilated. Archivist soft retreating away. More Archivist over here, but there's just too many. Oh, the Rogers Rangers. These guys who have 19 damage, 20 range, and 100, nearly 150 health versus nearly 150 health. There's 28 damage and 18 range. I am so I may not steal. 
These guys do cost 6060. The Archivist technically costs with 85, but they also get a bunch of swordsmen, which are not going to be very useful in this situation. Actually, there's a good number of Picard pikemen on the field. I must have gone for Gentleman Pike. The Gentleman Pike have gone for the Gentleman Pike. The War County is about to go down. He could perhaps bring something to the Russian allies. He does have a bit of export now. And Red does custom GG in back of the game now. This is Angrade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.